Hey there everyone, how are you? Steve Gonser, physical therapist with Run Smart Online. I'm gonna show you guys how to spice up your exercises. You can hear the kids running around uh, upstairs, very heavy footed, we'll have to work on their form. Um, what I'm gonna show you today is how you can spice up your exercises to burn more calories, improve your fitness. Um, if you're gonna work out, right, if you're gonna do some strength work, you're gonna improve your, your strength, you'd ideally like it to have the most bang for the buck. So uh, what I'm going to show you today is a way to do that. Real quick, this is kind of how we do, this is pretty much what we do in our strength workouts. We have full strength workouts for runners inside the Run Smart app. I did post a link to it in this post, so if you're interested, check out the Run Smart app. Um, and then you can just work out in your Dexter style basement, uh, if anyone gets that reference, uh, like, like I have. So I'm actually going to show you with weights today. In the past, I've talked about getting away from like the standard lunge, right? Like doing a lot of forward lunges and dropping the knee. Uh, I've talked about in the past, if you follow me, <clears throat> going to the side is a lot better. And by the way, I did just get done running. I don't dress like this all the time. Weird. <laughs> um, so going to the side engages the glute a little bit more, gets you out of that forward plane of running because we like to move in other planes when we do our strength workouts. So <clears throat> real quick, a side lunge is a really great way to do this. I'm going to show you how to spice this up. But reaching down is also important here because when you reach down, instead of being real upright, by reaching down, you engage the glute a little bit more. So I'm gonna grab some dumbbells. I wanna show you, um, I'm gonna make sure I don't hit this uh, above, but um, what I like to do to spice these up a little bit is they have two weights. I have uh, some light dumbbells, and then what you're gonna do is you do the same side lunge, right? So you're gonna co reach down. This is gonna engage the glute more. It's also gonna engage the low back and get the arms involved. So we're gonna do a side lunge, reaching down, curl the overhead press, and then come back down. So by including all of these muscle groups, not only are we getting bicep with the curl, we're getting shoulders with the overhead press, we're also getting the glute, the low back, and we're starting to engage multiple muscle groups. So this is what it would look like. You're standing, you do your side lunge, hammer curl, to press. Side lunge, hammer curl, to press. And you would work this into your routine. Now think about this from an exercise standpoint. Not only are you getting muscle groups that you need, your glutes, but you can also get fit overall. I know a lot of runners who uh, wish they had a stronger upper body. They, they, they do strength training, they work on their lower body, that looks good, um, and then their upper body doesn't really come along with it. Adding these compound movements really can help with this, make you fitter, make you leaner, and burn more calories, all the benefits that we like from our strength. Um, if you want to learn full programs that include weights, that don't include weights, that are just body weight, Check out the Run Smart app. We actually have a challenge that's going live on January 1st. I'll talk about that in the future. But it's a great way you can get down in your basement, in your loft, or wherever you're at, in the bedroom, and just get your strength in and do it in a way that's going to carry over to running. Um, so give that one a try. Lunge, hammer curl, overhead press, and uh, I think you guys will like it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and be sure to check out the Run Smart app. I put a link in this post. All right, everyone, have a great day. Bye.